Hi guys, it's Alston. First, thank you so much for checking out this video. In this video, we'll be taking a look into a WordPress plugin called Better Docs, and I will be reviewing why you need it and what is the purpose of it and how you can actually use this plugin to get the maximum out of it. First and foremost, uh, let me explain what this plugin does. It helps you to create a documentation or resource uh, knowledge base article uh, section in your WordPress site effectively. Okay, why you need a documentation or knowledge plugin? The main reason is if you are selling any sort of services or products, you would have encountered situation like where you want to show detailed information on your products and services or want to provide common instructions towards it or solution to common problems rather than repeating again and again or uh, a, during uh, any support session you want to have a detailed article or instruction in order to fix a certain problem or even to reduce workload for your support team rather than replying answers to the same type of question again and again you want to have a resources where you can easily point the user towards it so it will help you to create a centralized hub information for your products and services at the same time it will also reduce workload for your support team because user will be well knowledge or even if the user asks the support team for specific information the support team can easily redirect the user to the well documented your knowledge base that is the main reason uh, for this documentation this plugin is not suitable with if you have a small uh, blogger or a website which is uh, serving seeing some news and blog post this plugin will be usable if you are a business owner or a founder which offering solutions to customer through products services or if you are looking to having to answer same questions and again and again for your customer or audience then you can create use this plugin to create a detailed documentation in your wordpress website okay i think i have clearly explained what it is and why you need it now let's take a look into why better docs is the best plugin when it comes to create documentation for your wordpress website you can see uh, as soon as you come to the home page you can see they saying uh, they have different re ready made templates and table of contents and advanced customization option instant answers analytics live search i will be going through all these things uh, using the back end of the plugin so you can actually see i i'm using to create the knowledge base successfully so what they are doing is they are giving us a, a plugin to create a, a optimized documentation without uh, having to go into technical details rather than you can focus what is the context and the important part and uh, if you anytime want to check out a demo you don't need to look further because they are not just selling the plugin they are using on themselves if you go into uh, docs on their site you can actually see the demo for this plugin because this is the solution which uh, this plugin provide you can see what they have achieved here if you click on any this everything is offered by that particular plugin so you can have a look through it i even link a description link for this on the description now i'll be walking through actually how you can install and how you can go from there okay now uh, all you need to do is first you once you purchase the plugin click on the download zip for the plugin and go to your wordpress backend and you can upload this particular plugin to the wordpress click on install once it's installed click on activate plugin okay now once it's activated you have to activate your license key they have a free version but it's limiting you can check it from wordpress but pro option gives several more functionalities like drag and drop products uh, post from categories 
uh, advanced functionalities in viewing options all these things you can check on their site to see the differences between pro and free version okay now let me first activate my license Now you can see that license has been activated which has auto update and the premium support. Now we are good to go. First let me go through uh, each tab which has been showing on the settings tab. First one is called general. This shows you whether do you want the enable it or not. If you, uh, the main advantage of using this plugin is it also enables the support for page builders such as Elementor. So if you do not want the predefined setting, predefined layout, you can use the short codes and you can have a custom pages to have your documentation the way you want. If not, you can have the built-in option where I say the docs will be created on this page and categories, lags, you can change these things. If Especially if it's a foreign language site, you can change it. You can, what analytic means is you can ask the user whether this article was useful to them. So you, whether you want to collect feedback from everyone or guest only or registered user. You can also exclude bot activities so you do count only the user's opinion and you can click save to confirm the changes. Now let's take a look into the layout section. This is the layout section where you can enable or disable visual functionality such as um, enable live search, uh, result image, mail scenario, like how you want to show the uh, visual of the documentation page, number of posts, uh, button text. Single doc, what it will do is it will enable you to set up how the single page of the documentation will look like. Where you can set up this kind of page, a single page, you can set up like do you want a table of content? Do you want a sticky TOC? So when you scroll down, if it's as a, a table of content, it will also keep on scrolling with the browser. You can also uh, set up as uh, editing support uh, tags, uh, title, copy to clipboard, all these things. It's pretty man easy to understand from the label what it actually does. Show you all. And here, do you want to enable the sidebar category uh, for archive pages? After clicking on here, just click on save. And in the review article, I will be explaining each uh, field in details. In the video, I will be going through it fast as possible. So I can concentrate on the main functions of the plugin. Design, this is where you actually have the option to make sure that how uh, you get the plugin to look the way you want. That's the biggest thing. You can customize the font styles, um, the theme uh, widget styles. All these things are possible from here. Okay, now you can see it has loaded the customization options for different pages. Yes, you can see it shows the layout and doc page customized for the main screen. How the doc page you want single doc uh, that is to customize the individual post sidebar you want to customize how your sidebar looks like this one and archive the category pages and live search how you want to make this search bar look like all you need to do is go into inside each one and you can select the way you want to look and it will automatically preview it here for example i don't want the first layout I like the second layout, you click on it and it will automatically show you the screen on the second layer. So you can make all the changes from here, from uh, background, color, uh, padding, uh, width, uh, spacing option, title, font size, color, pretty much everything is customizable from here. Similar with CS, uh, single doc, for example, let me go into one of this one. So I can show you that way it looks. This is a single document. Click here and you can see if I click on the second layout, it will automatically reflect the changes here like that. You can change up to the way you want to look like. Here also all the options are provided. 
can go through it here. Let me check the others also sidebar pretty much the same thing and archive pages same all things are available for customization. Finally the live search here you can edit the way you want the live search for example if I want to change the color I can change it and it will automatically reflect. So it gives the rather than a back end customizing option it gives us the fully control over the customization using the front end that is the designing option. The designing option for this theme, uh, for this plugin, for the document area, it's really amazing, guys. You can actually get the theme the way you want to look like. Now, let's take a look into the other uh, tabs before we continue how we add all these things. Short codes, pretty much the same. What I told you about, uh, if you are using a page builder plugin like Elementor, you can actually copy this and paste it in your page you are building and it will load the category grid. If you want the category box, copy this. Category list, copy this. So they are giving a documentation here also so you can easily convert, create a page, documentation page out using a page builder plugin. Instant answer, this is where this widget comes here. You can see they are showing a widget. If you click here, you can see instant answer where shows the preview of all the things available user can search through it and find something rather than going over here they also have the feedback rating or if the user couldn't find anything what he is looking for he can click on ask and he can fill up these details and send and you would receive these details to your mail that is basically what instant data you can either enable it or disable it you can select whether do it want to show only the docs or the document categories also and chat settings here you see include the mail details where you want the message to be returned you can set up all the gra graphics for these things all these things are provided here uh, all these things if you are looking for the specific answer Try to check out their documentation and they have explained each field in detail so it, you can understand it really well now let me go into categories first categories where you, this is where you systematically categorize different articles in different section you include the name and a description and if you have a specific order you can mention it here and if you want to use an icon like i showed it you for example if i go into this category it shows uh, this particular icon as of this category if you want to use a different one you can select a new image and you can add it that's basically how you add the categories tag pretty much the same concept give the name of the tag uh, and a description and add add the new tag and it will work for example sample tag and pretty much uh, you can either leave the description or you can enter one you can see it has created a sample tag and uh, now if you want to add a new uh, article, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, here you come here, uh, sample 3 and I want to show, this is the content, sample content. And here you can select what is the category you want. Uh, I'll select this tag as well and publish it. Once you published, you can be able to see it from here that it has been gone into the correct uh, category with all the settings we have specified. You can see uh, the share options is available, printing options and updated date and direct uh, link to contact. All these things are provided here. Basically, that's how you add a new uh, documentation article. Uh, finally, uh, let me have a look into analytic as well. If you go into analytic, pretty much it will show you the feedback it has received for different articles. In this, I have not yet done an extensive job of creating the documentation. So it's just showing the brief uh, uh, stats. What it actually does, you can categorize it by each particular page or the whole documentation you can select date. You can uh, select the comparison factors what you want and based on that it will show you how many users are reported as happy, sad, neutral views. What you can do is if a particular instruction what you are given 
is getting more than neutral views sad that means what happens the user is not actually finding it useful so you can essentially uh, invest some time to create much more friendly user resource then it will be uh, improving the uh, that content so it user can get much better idea and it will also show you the view count all these things here pretty much that is a basic uh, overview and review of it this is for me if i wanted to create a documentation for my wordpress site i will be definitely using these things it's backed up with one of the best developers when it comes to wordpress they guys have got few plugins like essential add-ons for elementor they are really big and really looking i uh, uh, they listen to user inputs and keep on improving the plugin so you don't need to worry about the trustability apart from that it's a visually or and technically it's a really plugin good plugin if you want documentation and knowledge based article if you have any questions on these please make sure to ask me either in the youtube comment or in the article comment and then i will definitely try to personally explain it to you and i hope uh, this video was useful and i look forward to seeing you in another tool until then stay safe and have a great day bye